Okay, what is up guys? In today's video, I wanna to talk to you about a couple of things that can really help take your videos just to that next level, make them look a little bit more professional. These things are gonna be things that you can do to your video. Once your video is pretty much finished, you could call it done and send it off to that client or upload it onto YouTube. These are gonna be little things that you can do in addition, just to give it that little edge, take it a little bit higher up on that professional level. Today's video is sponsored by Mavavi, which is an editing suite. A lot of you guys ask me about what editing programs I think you should be using as beginners, and this is definitely a candidate that is good for anyone that is just getting into videography, or maybe someone who really just wants to simplify down their editing process and make it really easy. It also has some really nice features, which I'm to talk to you guys and show you as we work through our tips but keep in mind that these tips can be used in any editing platform that you guys might be using but Mavavi does offer some really interesting features within its software that I want to show you guys as we go. Just before we get into our tips for today I want to give you guys a very basic rundown of the interface of the Mavavi editing suite. As you guys can see here I have some clips on the timeline that I'm going to be using to demonstrate some of our techniques today and some things that I really like about this editing software is that there's this like snapping effect on the timeline so you can move everything around really fluidly it's really easy you're not gonna overwrite anything without noticing it some of the other things I really enjoy about it is just how it's been like stripped down and simplified it does everything you want it to do but it doesn't have all of that crazy additional stuff that's just confusing you especially as someone who's just getting into videography and might not be that comfortable with all of these crazy like extra additional features that some programs might offer this is really gonna be beneficial to you guys. You can see here that we pretty much just have these tabs here that are gonna allow us to do whatever we want to our videos. And once you click on a video, you can go to any one of your effects that you might want to apply to it. And everything is really intuitive and nice. You can move your clips around by just dragging them and it all snaps back. Very similar to something like Final Cut Pro, I believe. I have dropped a music track in here in the bottom. You can just drop them in. You can add more video tracks and more audio tracks as you want, but it starts off with just these one of each. You also have a text track up here because Mavavi has a really great text animation tool that we can use. And that is actually gonna be the first tip that we're gonna be talking about for today's video. This is basically what I'm talking about, guys. So if you have a little video that that you've created, maybe it's for a client or maybe it's your videos for your YouTube channel, by applying a little text overlay, especially when they have a nice animation, it gives it that professional feel and also adds another layer of branding or something that you could include on your video or your client's video. Say, for example, I had this video and it was all edited and done. I could apply a text overlay here in the beginning or maybe at the end as an outro and I could just simply go to these texts here. Mavavi actually has a bunch of these text animations built in and they look really nice. So I might just pick this one and I could drop it down in here. And you can see that now this text overlay is gonna play over my video. It has a really nice animation and that's just gonna just take it up that next notch. So this is super useful. Maybe you are making a video of a little traveling trip that you did. You can customize the words in here, of course, and call it whatever you want. You can drag down different texts to maybe have a lower third. Maybe if you're gonna be talking about something in your video, you can add a little text overlay. If you were doing something like a camera review, you could add that text and just say A7S3 review or something like that and put it down in the corner. So next time you guys have a video and you're calling it done, if you haven't put that text on, maybe think about adding a text layer in the intro or the outro, maybe some lower thirds throughout your video, introducing new characters or just changing the scenes. This is a really nice, easy, but super effective way of doing that. The next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is when you are editing to music, I am sure a lot of you guys know by now 
that you need to be cutting on those beats, timing your cuts of the video clips to the beats of those music. It makes it flow really nicely. It gives it a nice feeling for the viewer when they are watching it. And something that I really like to do when I'm editing to music is to place markers onto my track so that I know where any of those crucial beats are, any of those things that I need to be putting some of my video clips onto. And here is a really unique feature that I've found incredibly useful with this Movavi software that I'm not aware of any other software having, correct me if I'm wrong, but as far as I know, I haven't seen any other softwares that do this. And this is what I'm talking about. I have my track down here on the bottom that I've selected to put to my video. And you can see if I was to right click on this and go to tools, I can say beat detection. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna place in markers everywhere on the beats of that track so that I can start cutting my clips to that. I can literally just click detect the beats, it reads it and now I have all of these markers over on the top of my timeline that I can cut my clips to and paste them out. Something I do want to mention about these beat markers and something that I often mention in my videos is that you don't want to cut to the beat every single time on every single clip it becomes predictable and the viewer knows where the next cut is going to be almost giving it a boring feeling because they know when that's coming so mix it up you want to look for different pockets of cuts and do like different little speeds but having a way to just literally click a button and have all of those beat markers placed in there on the timeline is invaluable as someone that is editing to music and i thought that was a really unique and amazing feature about movavi the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is using overlays like lens flares or light leaks. And some of my favorite ways that I like to use this is that if I have a clip where there's sun in the clip and maybe it's shining into the lens, but I didn't get that lens flare that I was necessarily after, you can add on those lens flares afterwards as overlays. So you can get third party ones. Otherwise, if you guys are using Mavavi, they actually have them built in. You can head over here to light leaks and you can pick the different light leaks or lens flares that you guys want to use. For example, you could drag this on here and you can see now that it adds this lens flare and you would of course want to make sure that you are lining this up to be where the sun is in your shot, otherwise it doesn't really make sense. And what's nice about these ones is that they're already animated. So you can see that they're moving. If I had something where I had that direct sun right in my shot, I could place this over the sun and it would add a whole nother layer of depth to my shot and it would end up looking pretty cool. Another way that I really like to use something like these overlays is if for example I shot a video and it wasn't very sunny maybe it was a bit overcast and gray and I wanted it to have that summer sunny feeling I could use some sort of lens flare to warm up my image I could add a bit of a yellow and warm tone color grade onto there used with that lens flare and those overlays is really gonna sell that effect and it's not gonna feel so gray and cold once I've done those things which leads me to my next topic and that is actually using color grading to advance your footage and make sure that it has the look that you want. In Movavi, it has a bunch of built-in LUTs. Otherwise, you guys can download LUTs from any of your favorite creators. You can even download some of my own LUTs if that's something that you guys are interested in. If not, Movavi actually has some filters built in. You can pick the filters that you guys want and you can just directly drop them right onto your clips and you can also change the intensity if it is a little bit too strong. Make sure that you guys aren't overpowering that clip with that color grading. You want to keep it subtle. It shouldn't be something that looks too unrealistic. Otherwise, it's not going to look that professional and good. Something like this, I think, looks great. And you can see with the before and after, that really brings it to life adds all that color back into the sky and it makes it pop quite well. Something to look out for in your videos is that you have the right amount of like shake or smoothness in your shots. So having a shot that is really smooth with no shake in it tells a different story to a shot that might have a bit of shake in it and a bit of movement in it. And that's important for you guys to realize and important to figure out what you want 
in that particular shot to tell the message that you're trying to tell to your viewer. A shot with a lot of shake or handheld movement in it might make more of an action scene and give a more of a chaotic feeling because there's movement going on and nothing is really smooth. Whereas a really smooth shot with zero shake, maybe something on a gimbal, will give a different message altogether. There are a few different techniques you guys can use to enhance those aspects when you guys are editing and Mubawi has some great options for that. You can see in this clip here, there is quite a lot of handshake in it because it was a handheld shot. You can see a bit of that wobble going on. And what we can actually do is stabilize this clip by heading over here, going to stabilization and clicking stabilize. Once we've stabilized this, you guys can see the difference. Put up the before and after, and you can see the stabilized version has gotten rid of a lot of that handshake. On the opposite scale, maybe you guys want that handshake in your footage. Maybe it's an action scene where you are chasing someone or a fight scene and you want that chaos and that handshake and to add that uneasy feeling to the shot. Well then you could do something like add in an artificial handshake after. Another way where I might find this really useful is if you guys are doing a solo B-roll for example and you have that shot on a tripod and there's no movement in any of your shots, it might look a bit boring and by adding that artificial movement into your shot it might look like more organic and that there was someone there. We can do that easily by adding in this handshake over here. If we go to camera shake we can drop it on our clip and it introduces handshake into that. So even if this shot was on a tripod, it would be moving and making it feel like someone was there holding the camera and filming it. This is a great way for when you guys are filming those solo B-rolls, it's gonna elevate it, make it feel like there was someone there filming it with you. I think it's super important for you guys to understand the story that you're trying to tell with those shots and whether you want them to be super smooth or you want them to have a bit of that shake in them. That is gonna be it for today's video, guys. I hope you found some of these tips useful. If any of you are looking for an editing software that might be easy to understand, super intuitive, and still has a lot of the features that you guys are gonna use, check out Movavi. I will link them down in the description and you guys can sign up for a seven day free trial just to try it out and see if you guys actually wanna purchase it. As well as I'm gonna include a coupon code which will give you guys 20% off if you do decide Side that you want to continue using Movavi as your editing suite. So go check it out. It's going to be down there in the description. It is really a cool program. I truly think it is something awesome and definitely beneficial for anyone that's looking for a really intuitive way to edit videos professionally. And it is by far one of the most affordable editing suites that have the amount of features that it does. Go and check it out. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to hit like, subscribe, and all of those good things. I will see you in next week's video.